This video is about making a little shade canopy for my garden from uh, some old parts that I had laying around and a tarp that I purchased at Runnings. Now this is a canvas tarp that um, basically is coated for outdoor use to be waterproof whatnot. The only one I could find that was this small and um, you know five by seven. Biggest problem was it had um, very few grommets in it for what I wanted to do with it. it just basically came with a grommet in each corner and then one in the center of the long side. So um, first thing I had to do was, um, you know, add some grommets to allow me to connect or mount the um, the tarp on top of the canopy. And as you can see, it's a five by seven tarp, but actually you lose a couple inches of tarp because it's um, five by seven is before hemming. So first thing I did is I, um, you know, marked out where I wanted the grommets to go and. Then I have these plastic containers that I, you know, sort things into and um, they work real good for keeping things organized. And these are just, you know, basically what the grommets look like. There are two pieces. Um, one goes over the other and then there's a tool you need to set them. There's basically an anvil and a punch and then just a hole punch to mount them. Now this kit I think I bought about 40 years ago and you can pretty much see by the uh, paperwork that came with it. It's um, you know, it's quite old but I think they're still available if you look around. So basically I just wanted to show you how easy it is to um, you know, add some grommets to a tarp whether it be canvas like this or even one of those blue pa plastic tarps for people that haven't done it. So you know, first thing you do is you use the uh, punch that came in the kit and just punch a, um, the hole in the fabric or plastic or whatever you're putting the, the um, grommet in and then you just have to put that bottom anvil down and you know basically drop the uh, that second half of the grommet over it and a couple taps with a hammer and basically you have a perfect perfectly installed grommet every time you know they're real easy to put in and um, uh, they're really super cheap to buy too. the um, things. I think these are only made out of um, brass plated tin. But you can also buy some for um, marine use that are made out of brass. So, you know, you may want to just watch what the material is depending on the use that you're going to use them for. But, you know, as you can see it, um, the same thing over and over again. And it doesn't take very long. It takes maybe about 30 seconds to put one in and... I pretty much laid them out, you know, exactly where I wanted to um, to put them because the the corner ones that came on it just weren't in the right spot for using those little bungee cords to mount it. So, you know, I just I just went through it and, and put enough in to um, to take and hold it and stretch it out. So there we are, just putting you know another one in. And they all, you know, I've never had one go bad on me with the tools, so they, you know, they really do go in there nice and easy, and, you know, you can see them kind of have them spaced out along the edge of the, the tarp now, just to uh, make it more usable, and there you can see the ones I put in compared to the one that came in it, that one looks kind of ratty out and stuff, so, you know, I think the ones you add later are better. Then on my way out to put the tarp on, I thought I'd do a quick video, you know, just showing my little dog park that I made about 10 years ago. And it's just a spot for my little dogs to run in and got a fire pit in there and a gravel area to prevent fire from spreading. And, um, you know, I, uh, coming down the other gate, I actually have some plasma cut signs of my little chihuahua and my little dash on that, you know, go in there and... You know, it's just kind of, I just made this so our dogs would have a safe place to go out and run in. Um, and there you can pretty much see the the fire pit that I have out there. And um, I made some plasma cut tables for that that actually have a, um, a rod on it that kind of pounds into the ground to hold them up. But anyhow, back to the the uh, canopy and I had one of those 10 by 20 canopies from camping years ago that I saved and I did I just went back and I cut down the parts and just used the parts that I needed from it to make this smaller canopy and it's going to be mounted over a bench down by my garden when I'm all done with it um I needed a place to be able to get out of the rain and um sun 
So I decided to do this and you can kind of see where I put some screws in where everything went together. The original one didn't have screws, but I just decided to, um, you know, add them to hold it all together. So basically the, um, that tarp just spread, you know, just kind of gets, uh, spread, spread over that top bar and then it just gets pulled tight around the edges. I picked up two jars of these, uh, canopy, um, ties. They're like a little... Um, little ball with a uh, little stretchy type cord on them and luckily I got them at my dollar store so they didn't cost me much but I um, you know I just proceeded to go and put a um, one of these little stretchy bungee cords in each of the grommets that I just put in the tarp so um, you know I would kind of allow it to stretch out nice and tight and um, not sag from the wind or the the rain or anything else and like i said i was just looking for a little shelter to um to be able to get out of the sun for a while i have a bench down there that i'm going to put it over and also if i'm stuck down there in the rain it um it, sometimes it takes too long to walk up to the house and you get soaked so i just you know thought this would be a good idea it didn't take too long to make you know just cut down some of the framework and um took a quick can of uh, yellow spray paint and just went over that and you know basically it came out pretty good and I just thought I'd show you you know just how easy it is to um to put these uh little grommets in the in a tarp um be it you know canvas or the plastic or whatnot just to make it more usable for projects And there you can see basically, you know, how it came out. And it, you know, another one of those little quick and easy um, projects where I'm just recycling some old tubing from an old frame that uh, would have otherwise gone to the junkyard. And I just thought I'd share. I mean, it's nothing fancy and, it's, you know, nothing really big or anything. But it'll serve the purpose um, once I get it moved down by the garden. I just thought I'd, you know, just show how easy it is to add some extra grommets to a low-cost tarp to make it more usable. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.